Good day everyone and welcome to episode 27 in our series of Airport CEO. Today, due to the magic of editing, we're going to start our episode with $40,806 in the bank account and magically run our airport in very quick time up to over $100,000. Our plan being to get on with the procurement and get jet fuel for our commercial aviation. And in that way, uh, basically double the money we're making out of our commercial uh, service for the airlines. So settle back and relax while Fast Forward and Editing present to you an airport with over $100,000 in the bank account. Welcome back everyone, and I've come out of our fast forward editing mode, not having reached 100,000, but having got to $76,000, because we've got some opportunities that we need to take advantage of. We come over here, the, um, the flight scheduler is currently in Wednesday, and we have a look at Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, we're filling up the airport quite well and we are getting some pretty good offerings and we're getting some good opportunities but we don't have the stands to take advantage of them. So I've just come out of the fast forward in order to take advantage of this because we've got our stands but we're now being offered fives and sixes as well as a number of twos and ones and different things and I wanted to get another stand up and running so that we had the ability to take on these extra services so I've dropped out of our fast forward mode and I'm just going to build another stand up here so that well we make more money and we service more aircraft so that's what we're just going to do now because there's no good hold. Oh, sorry. There is no point holding to a plan if, in fact, there are opportunities that help us uh, grow. Whereas if we stay to the plan, it actually is a limiting factor for us. So, what we are going to do right here is bring our road around, our service road, so that we do in fact know uh, what our space requirements are up here. And uh, we put that as so, and so. Then we need to bring our taxiways in for our guys, and we're going to go grass on this one. Oh, no, sorry, wrong one. Whoa, grass on this one. Now, what were we talking about over here? We were talking about two, I believe. Was that two? Two, one. No, it was one. And then we had the taxiway up there, uh, like so, which was a three. Very good. And I think we should run up to here. Keep everything fairly neat and tidy in that respect. Very good. Little expensive, but we'll get an extra stand in. The aircraft will have, at uh, the aircraft, the airport will have uh, more traffic and it will all be for the good. Well, we'll go up to double speed uh, and we will wait for our talented constructo dudes to come along and put that in. We will now go and tell them where to put the boarding desk. Boarding desk, thank you very much. Rotating as we go. Eh, mm. I am going to go with 
excellent smithers on this one. Put the super duper low quality large size door in. Right there. And wait patiently, as all senior executives of all corporations do when their hardworking staff are at it. Bringing it all together, making the place a hum of activity and a little generator of revenue. And there is our stand. Now, once we get our taxiway in, we could put our taxiway path in and we will be good to go. Now, we've spent, you know, in round figures, uh, $55,000 doing this, but the improved revenue for us should well and truly outweigh that. Well and truly. Didn't quite get it up in time for the morning, but that is okay because we probably won't even start scheduling the aircraft in until tomorrow. So that is all good. So as soon as these guys are done building our taxiway around here, we will put we'll put our taxiway path in. And just looking at this, I'm thinking I'm thinking what am I thinking? I'm thinking maybe we'll put a taxiway hole point here. Not sure about that. Well, we'll put one there anyway. Why not? Happily going along. Speed two. Chop, chop. All right, the impatient CEO of the world's best airport is going to rush off and start putting his taxiway paths in now, even before the constructo guys have finished constructoing. Because we're patient. CEOs are always patient. Executives lovely people salt of the earth caring sharing even a quick look at the recent banking royal commission in australia will tell you what a wonderful bunch of people they are come on come on guys come on make taxiways make go fast now oh gosh there's corporate for you make go fast now Right, just a little way to go, and we can open our taxiway stand, taxiway stand, aircraft stand. Oh my goodness. The English language is leaving me. Come on. There we go. We are taxiway. And you are going to be a holding point. There you go. We are lovely jubbly. Commercial. Open. Well done, everyone. A team effort. Now, let's go and start scheduling, which is really what we love to do. Let's schedule. And we had a six right there. And then we had a five right there let's go up not only in the, is the English language leaving me but the ability to point at an appropriate part of the screen and press a button is leaving me as well alright 28% so we do need to increase our 
or your love for us, I should say. Our love for you is unbridled, Mr. Skylink. Who's up here? Oh, you're 25. You don't like us either. Another, a six. Got to have a six. Okay. Thursday, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Could we... What about Saturday? <gasps> yes, we can put a two in there. We get a lovely little two right in there. Saturday, full. Sunday, got a spot for possibly a... Oh, look at that. That's a five. Let's go and put you right over here. Those, you're putting them at the end of what our scheduling week currently is, which is Tuesday. Sets us up very nicely for the week after. So I like to put the big ones up there so they carry us into the new week and then we can backfill with all the smaller ones. So where were we again? We got the, that, no, Sunday. Sunday we probably have a single. Is that a single? Single. Sunday is chockers. Monday, probably get, let's try putting a double in there. Very good. Okay. And then Tuesday, Tuesday we've got quite a bit. Who doesn't like it? My gosh. 25. 25 is the lowest approval rating so far. Let's see if we can't bumpy that up a little bit. By scheduling more air. Craft. So 25, 25, okay, and not only are we getting the airlines to like us more, but we are 26 out of 30, I can put four more in, well, I can put all of these in actually, uh, scheduling their flight not only gets them to like us more, it also gets us more revenue, so there's a, there's a synergy there. There's a nice word, didn't it? Look at that. Those two are matched up. That is unfortunate. Okay, so let's go back. Thursday, full. Friday, full. Saturday, full. Sunday, full. Monday, full. Tuesday. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a seven-day. Uh, well, except for Wednesday. Wednesday is a pretty shabby. One, two, three, four. We have six solid days of booking we're in the money we're in the money okay triple speed now we go back up and make a hundred thousand dollars knowing that our revenue from our aircraft will be up didn't i just do a maintenance on you obviously not what closed no stop that Whoa, I pressed the wrong button again. All right, I think a little care, a little more care might be needed as I go around pressing buttons. Welcome back. And why are we back right now? Well, first of all, we're back because we have $114,000. And we're also back because it's snowing. Now, I don't know if you've picked up, but from other episodes, rain is really nice in this game but snow. Coming from the driest continent in the world, snow is a lovely thing. And that's because we have to travel all the way around the world to find it. But we still, enjoy, well, I still enjoy it anyway. So if you are from the northern climes and you get bogged down by snow and get in traffic jams because of snow and basically find it annoying, I don't. So it may be something you have to put up with while we do the gameplay. But anyway, we do have $114,000. So it's time for us to go procurementing. And that's what we're about to do. We're going to executive committee first. And we're going to get one of these people, a procurement director. And we can't do it from here. So we're going to go staff. We're going to go for executive, and we want to see applicants, and we want procurement directors. Ooh, and we have 
gosh, we only have two of them on offer to us. And both of them are lovely women. Um, salary range is a bit interesting. 22 to 28. And the green bars are quite interesting. But it is fairly obvious from this that young Madison Muller is ahead of our other candidate, Andrea Popescu. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the green bars go for Madison's favour. So, Ms. Muller, you are hired. Thank you very much for joining Grumpy's International. Now, we need to go to... No, no, we don't need to do maintenance yet. We need to go to uh, one of our very favourite things, which is procurement, which is Poipal, right there. Uh, and let's see what we've got. Jet A1 fuel service. That's the fella. And we need $100,000. And we have that with 10000 to spare. So, where are we now? Uh, we're 10 o'clock at night. Let's wait till the morning, till the revenue starts coming in. Let's, um, let's see if we can fast forward this little beastie. There you go. We'll get to 4 a.m., and then when the money starts rolling in, uh, we'll spend the $100,000 and we'll see where we end up at the end of the day. So we're starting the day with 106. So let's just say we start the day with $6,500. Let's see where we end up at the end of the day because we are just about to spend $100,000. Right, there's Madison. We go to our economy. We go to procurement and we go zipping down here to jet a1 fuel service go um we better not do that just yet and there it is six thousand six hundred so we have made a hundred dollars and it's 2 a.m in the morning what i thought this went okay hang on hold your horse Cannot advance time as there are passengers in the terminal. What are you people doing in my terminal at 3 o'clock in the morning? The first flight isn't out of here till well after 4. Where are you? Horrible individuals. See, this is why nobody likes people. Oh, there they are. They're all milling around out. Why are they milling around out there? Oh, that's a nice Katya Ivanov. She's from Russia. Mother Russia. She's obviously travelling through our airport to return to our game on Heart of Iron 4, where we're rebuilding Mother Russia. They're coming home. They're coming home, boys and girls. All right. Okay, so so these guys come in for aircraft that are literally going to take off. When are they taking off? So it's Friday. The first plane is not out of here till 10 past 5. 10 past 5. And you're in at 4 o'clock. Hmm. Well, yeah, I... I suppose I can't really complain because if you go to the International Airport at uh, Sydney, you've got to check in. Well, the check-in they had now because of all the security, it's like three hours before the flight. And then you go through the gate maybe two hours before the flight. So I guess that's not unreasonable, but it does actually stop us fast-forwarding. Okay, let's zip up the triple speed. See what happens when we go to afterburners. Game certainly moves a little bit faster. Look at those guys going up there. They'll be thirsty by the time they get up there. 
I think later on we'll put some shops up here as well and make some revenue through that. And we just we got a little way to... Oh, here comes the first one. Five o'clock. Regular as if it was scheduled. So we started in the night at 6.5 thousand. We're now down to 5 thousand. But we should start rapidly going up now. Especially since we've got this extra stand over here, which actually looking at that does seem to have a few passengers waiting to go out on it. So interesting that. We may have to delay doing our um, maintenance over here until we get some more money. Now we'll get, also we'll get a notification, we should get a notification of um, when our, that's not what we want, when our um, Jet A1 fuel service has been researched. 10 min literally minutes to go. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want you to wait. We don't want you to wait. And we have a new product. So we're going to slow down right here for a minute. We will go to our mail and check what the new product is. Receipt for A1 fuel service. Da -dum -dum -da. And we will, we will save you, right, uh, and go back to the inbox. And we will get rid of all our golden opportunities because that's just irritating. Okay, now let's go and have a look at what we need to build and how much we need to build it. Terminal. Was it aircraft or terminal? I think it's aircraft infrastructure and fuel tank. Medium sized fuel tank. They can contain either AV gas or Jet 1. Right, okay. So, there you have it. That's going to cost us 10,000. Okay, we need to build. Let's look at this for a second. So, we've got to find another fuel terminal spot. We've got to complete our road up to there. So, maybe we're looking at. Let's go 20,000 for that. We need new vehicles, so we're going to have to go back to procurement. Bum, 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 bum. For Jet A1, they're 2,000 each, so let's get another three of them. That's six. So we're looking for $26,000. Okay, so we want some reserve. So let's say 50000 so we need to get up to $50,000 and then we can go ahead with our next stage of our cunning and devious plan. So in the meantime, let's get the game going at Mac 1 and we'll go do some scheduling. The more we schedule, the more aircraft we get, yeah? The more aircraft we get, the more money we make. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go, two there, stripe, let's work upwards. Um, and upwards for the most bang for our buck. Ah, love the corporate speak. It's all coming back to me now. 29, we want a single act. No, we're not going to get a single. We are going to do some good up here though. So what have we got? Three, four, oh, six. Cool. Love a good six. Okay. Back down here. R4. And going up, Skylink. Skylink. Skylink, we need some serious scheduling doing here. We might be nice to Skylink. Skylink are only 44. Mind you, you're 33. 44, let's, let's, um, 
let's put a 2.5 Skylink in up here. And actually, that'll do us out for the entire week. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, wow, Thursday. We are chockers. We are chockers. You know, for a business, that's fantastic. I think we need to do some maintenance there. How much is that going to cost? Three grand. Yeah, we can do that. I think our aircraft stands are probably going to be okay. Yep. I think we're all good with that. So I, very close. We're, we're a couple of grand off the 50, and then when we hit the 50, we'll start building. Very good, very good, very good. And passengers are coming and going. Almost five o'clock in the afternoon. Money in the bank. And no problem. Very good. Okay, we're over 50. We'll go back down to one. And, uh, all right, let's link up our road first. Be, of course we can and we're going to medium quality now I'm we're going to end up with a dog leg here but what we could do is make enough room so that this dog leg can have things put next to it if we need to so let's do this so that gives us this side and this side of the road to build on. And then we will come out here a bit. And we will go up there a bit. So we've only got one dog leg really that we need to deal with in there. Okay, so then we need, we need, we need. fuel depots and we are going to go medium size and we are going to go jet a1 fuel depot which is in fact bigger than you so i would be very tempted to place you right there but you know what i could place you right there we know from this guy that placing them on the corner actually does work I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So you go there. Very good. We'll wander over to the... Uh, what do they used to call it? The store. In every factory, there always used to be a store where you went for, you know, the tools of your trade or additional equipment if you didn't have it into the store so we're going to go to the store and wander over there and just pick up a couple of fjord fuel trucks for our jet a1 fuel and we're going to order six thousand dollars worth of them and we're going to order that right now because we can Any tick of the clock now, we're going to get extra fuel trucks burbling right into our facilities. Maybe. Maybe. Burbling any minute now. Okay, I think we might go up to double speed on this one. Get our basic fuel depot up. I think we might also have to order some fuel as well. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Our constructor dudes are constructing. Very good. That's 80%. We'll leave that alone for just now. 20,000 in the bank. New email, new product arrived. Yep, here we go. Our truck should be turning up any minute now. And heading straight into our truck depot 
Now, I'm assuming that they're all going to fit in there, but we're going to find out in just one little tickety-poo. One. Two. Three. So we should have six trucks in there. And we do. Well done, us. Okay, so I've got a fuel depot, but we are empty. Request extra fuel. Okay, does natural fuel provide A1 jet fuel? I know. Let's review the contract. Oh, hang on. Maybe that was it there. That is indeed it. Ooh, look, they're coming from everywhere. Okay. Right, let's have a check. Okay, 100% full, very good. Trucks. Trucks come out and do what? The main tank, right, but I want to look at the truck. Let me see the truck. There's the truck. No fuel. Okay, goes in. Gets fuel. And hopefully goes back to the truck depot. This is what we're wanting to see. That truck fills up, goes back to the truck depot. Ah, it's a winner. Here comes number three. All right, now what we need to do is make sure we've got fuel services turned on. And Jet A1 refueling service is now enabled. So come the revolution. Well, let's see if we can fast forward. Come the revolution in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Come the revolution in the morning. We will be making more money. Ooh, well, we better be making a lot of money, because look at that. How did that happen? Okay, we might, we might have a problem here. 64,000. 64, what did we just do? Well, anyway, we can get by. We can get out of that. That's not an issue for us. We're a super-duper airport, but, but it does tell me that the next time we plan to do something even small is adding a fuel service. Uh, we need a little bit more money than just $50,000. But there you go. Okay, so I'm I'm going to keep going, actually, because now I think we should keep going before we don't run out of money. Uh, because that's not going to end well for us if we do. Now, have we got people back in our airport again so we can't fast forward? Yep, that's it. All right, we better go up to three and chug along, as it were. Meanwhile, we'll uh, go do some scheduling because stuff's happening, apparently. Sunday, all good. Monday, good. Tuesday good, Wednesday good, Thursday good, Friday. We have opportunities. Stripe, 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 stripe. Four. Four is good. Stripe, four is good. Oh, 54% up there now. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, there's a five. Fives are good, better than fours. However, we do like fours. So I'm going to nick that four and put that four up there. Okay, so where are we up now? 33 out of 35. That, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll go back down here to Stripe. And we'll... Oh, look at that. Nice numbers are turning up. And the game is beeping at The two seven. Yeah, we'll take a two seven for a five. I um, mean for a two. Okay. And then we will go there. What you got? What you got? You've only got single. Okay. Never, never look a good single in the mouth, I always say. There's a 2.7. And then we take a 2.7. Okay, that's good. All right, we're done. We're done there. Okay, fine. 64. Man, we're, we're bleeding. We are bleeding. Okay, we need we need to get this thing chugging along. Seriously, boys and girls. Right, I want to see some fuel trucks going around. 
making us some money on the commercial side of life. General aviation, lovely doubly. It's all going well. I'm not seeing much activity on the old commercial there. Look at this queue up here. Tons of guys. All right, here comes a commercial. Let's keep an eye on him. And uh, we'll see. Right, fuel truck. Excellent. Fuel, right. Okay. Very good. Okay, fuel service is working. Oh, look at that. He didn't completely fuel him. What is going to happen now? So they don't, oh, no, he's going over there. And he took off, but he wasn't completely fueled. Is that the situation? Yes, look at that. They are not being completely fueled. He is. He is. He is not. Now, it's hard to tell whether it's because they're not requiring a full tank. As we know, commercial aircraft only take fuel that will get them to their destination plus the safety margin. I don't know whether that's the case or whether the fuel trucks only service each aircraft once. Let's go and have a quick look over here in contracts for a minuet and procurement. Uh, the fuel, fuel truck will, <laughs> the rain, the Ford fuel truck will, I can't even read that. Something your airport with refueling aircraft with Jet A1 aviation fuel. While it may be slow, I can't read that. Okay, all right. Let's go down here for a minute and have a look. Ah, wait a minute. Jet A1 fuel service upgrade road checkpoint vehicle depot. That's its requirement. May be slow and inefficient. Ineffective, inefficient. It makes up for this with a charming humming noise that is sure to soothe your employees. Okay. The Maverick fuel truck the Maverick fuel truck will assist your airport with refueling aircraft with Jet A1 Aviation fuel. It provides for its size a super efficient way of refueling your airport's aircraft. It's $3,000. The Ford, no, we don't want that. What's the Ford fuel trailer truck? What is that? The Maverick fuel trailer truck. What are these do? Purchasing this truck includes a fuel tank trailer and it's 4,000. Now what? Let's get one. You cannot afford... Oh, of course I can't. We need, we need better gear. That's what we need, better gear. We got, but at least we're not $64,000 dead. At least we've got a couple of hundred bucks in the bank now. Holy dooly. All right, let's see if we can fast forward this to the next day. Bang. Okay, excellent. Let's keep an eye on that because the minute that slows down, it's not four o'clock. 
There you go. So what we're now learning is that our passengers turn up at about 2.30 in the morning. And that means we can't do our fast forward beyond 2.30. So there you go. All right. But at least by the end of today, we will have uh, got ourselves back in the black, i.e. not the red, not losing money and not owing people money. Um, and uh, the airport will be all tickety-boo again. Okay, so we will just wait till I think the end of today. So go up to triple speed, wait till the end of today, do some scheduling. Book down, book down, book down, book down, book down. We are rocking and rolling in the scheduling department. Uh, let's not overdo anything. So we've got 33 out of 35, so we'll get a two in there. Oh, lovely five, like a five. But, no, we'll take the two. It's all good, we'll take the two. The back, okay, so that's you. You've got, we can get tons out of you, man. All right, let, let's see if we got some big ones in here. Lots of, lots of, um, like, fours, fours, fours are good. Oh, I've got a couple of fours there, too, okay. Uh, a five. Yep. Oh, no, a six. I just saw that. Very good. We'll take that. And we've got a six. And with the, we know there's another five in Goose. What have we got down here? A three. Oh, there's a six. Lovely. Okay. Um, so that was Maple and Guy Link. Um, that one's got a four. We'll just we'll snuff a four over here. Very good. And you're 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 allocated. Okay, so there was another five. And because I have a memory like a sieve, I can no longer recall where the five was. So I've got some fours there. There, there's a five. Okay, there's a five. So that was Goose, a maple. Mm, maple, I'm not seeing a five. Guy Link. No. Okay, we just need to come out here for a second and get rid of this guy. And a little bit back there. A little bit back there. Right. BLM, five, any five, five, no sixes, Boris, no five, no sixes, Goose, 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 nope. Hmm, Maple, no. Skylink, and no. Okay, all right, well, we'll start taking fours now. Four. Twenty-six out of fifty. Two, seven. Two, well, two, seven, obviously, right? I mean, if they're, they're both the same, but one pays more, then you take the one that pays more. Rocket science, we call that. Absolute rocket science. Two, seven. Two, seven. Or four is good. And we are full as a googie egg. Lovely. Okay. That's it. We're done. Uh, and we have $24,000 in the bank. So we're, we're getting back on course. And we're making money. And the banks now like us again. They're not threatening to foreclose on us anymore. Almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Fuel trucks are fuel trucking. I was going to go and get that um, big fuel truck, wasn't I? I'm willing to spend money to do that. So the um, okay, let's let's see. The Maverick fuel truck Jet A1 is four. 
but the Maverick fuel truck jet A1 is three. Fuel truck, fuel trailer truck. Sure, why not? We'll take one of those. Excellent plan. What could possibly not be beneficial to us by doing this? A little bit of congestion starting up there. Many aircraft queuing to take off. Yeah, yeah, see, this, this, this will end up being a problem. This will end up being a problem. And at the point where it becomes a real issue, that's where we look at the second runway. Or we could just turn off some of the uh, general aviation stand and that would remove one aircraft from the mix. So that is that possibility as well. So in summary, ladies and gentlemen, airport passengers coming and going very smoothly. Does not appear to be any congestion at the check-in desk or at security. No problemos on the roads. Fuel services, ooh, look at that. Fuel services in and operational for both general aviation and small commercial. And we now have five commercial aircraft stands, all operational. And we are scheduled jam-packed, I would say. You couldn't get a better scheduling if you tried. Anyway, so... Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I shall look forward to seeing you in the next episode when we come back together to continue to build our wonderful airport. So if you've enjoyed it, I would encourage you to press the like button. And if you feel so inclined, I also thank you for subscribing. And until next time, it's bye for now.